that Divergent sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. And this one's called Allegiant. What's Allegiant? It's like a faction that forms no, no. after the faction system stops. So they're like the focus of the movie. They're barely in it. So why is the movie called Allegiant? Because that word ends with an ent sound. Oh, like that all is the others. extremely important to us for some reason. So what happens in this thing? Well, it takes place oh just God. after the events of the last movie. And what's going on with barely Well, it. since we last saw her a couple of minutes ago, her hair has more than doubled in length and changed color. Wow, she really is special. She sure is, sir. So she's told she Double should be one of the new leaders of Chicago because people listen to her. Oh, that'd be a great position for her. She could really make some changes. Sure could. So she turns it down. Oh, okay. And Evelyn starts holding trials for all the bad guys and executing them. Feels like the kind of thing Triss could try to stop if she was one of the leaders. Right? right? So mm -hmm. she runs away. Oh, okay. Where's she headed? To the <laughs> other side of the wall. And she brings Four and Caleb and Christina and Peter. Doesn't that guy betray okay. them every chance he gets? Yes. Why are they still allowing him to be <laughs> close to them? Maybe he's changed. Has he? No, he's going to betray them at the first chance he gets. <laughs> that checks out. Again. So make it to the Wait, didn't he? But I thought he like kind of helped in the second movie. I remember him helping him helping the, in the second movie, but uh, he keeps betraying them. Why are they? Uh, makes no sense. The other side of the wall, except for Tori, who was with them. She gets shot and dies. Who? Tori, okay. she was a tattoo artist. Uh, <laughs> she was there sometimes. She was around. Oh, no. Yeah, so they all get chased <laughs> through a little radioactive wasteland. Oh, they get picked up by some people using some kind of cloaking shield thing. Some cloaky folks. Sure. So they transport our heroes in okay. some bubbles that are definitely going to look real. How real are we talking? Extremely <laughs> real. Our heroes in some bubbles that are definitely going to look real. How real are we talking? Extremely real and not silly in any way. <laughs> <laughs> so where do the real bubbles take them? To this secret place called the Not Bureau silly of Genetic in any way. Welfare. But first, they gotta clean them off. Oh, we got mm -hmm. some stinky heroes. We got some contaminated heroes. So they need okay. to be quickly turned into terrified gummy bears to clean off. Wow. <laughs> Since Triss is special, what? she's brought to David, who runs the place. Yeah, I guess he's gotta get to Jeff the bottom Daniels. of that whole supernatural right. hair growth thing. Well, mostly he's interested because she's 100% divergent. That was the name of the first movie. So he explains <laughs> that society developed problems since people were messing with their genes. Mm, like turning them into to shorts. Like genetically modifying their offspring <laughs> to give them advantages, and that led to wars which destroyed the planet. Not what? good. So that's why the. Why did I laugh so, so much on that one? Oh, turning them into shorts. People were messing with their genes. Mm, like turning them into shorts. Mmm. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did that why did that make me laugh so much? Genetically God. modifying their offspring to give them advantages, and that oh led God. to wars which destroyed the planet. Not good. Okay. So that's why the Bureau has these experiments going. They wanted to see if they could make a pure <sighs> genome again, which is what Triss is. Sure, okay. okay. She trusts this guy immediately because <laughs> sure. he gives her a device that lets her view her mom's memories, who as it turns out was rescued from a wasteland as a kid. I mean, like the main thing these people okay. are good at is making you see things that aren't actually there. How could she possibly <laughs> believe him? Well, she does, so I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about it. <laughs> well, okay, then let me get off of the bus. Very, very aggressive. Bust. All the way off my back about it. <laughs> very aggressive in this, uh, in his saying of that. Well, okay, then let me get off of the posterior. Posterior. <laughs> so meanwhile, Thor is being trained in the military, which is a thing they have. Pow pow, understood. Okay. And he's like, I'm coming on the pow, next pow. mission. And his trainer's like, no, you're not ready. And he's like, I'm coming. And she's like, okay. Very convincing argument. So on the mission, the military leader is like, listen, if it were up to me, you wouldn't be here. Well, who's it up to if not him? Unclear. So Thor is going to discover like, that these freaking guys are kidnapping kids and wiping their memories. Uh, sneaky. You're yeah, not okay. very nice at all. So Four goes to tell Triss, but she's like, I don't believe you, because David has me in the palm of his hand now. Oh, my God, he shrunk her. <laughs> oh no, my God. and so David brings her to the secret council Come that's on. in charge of this secret place that he's a part of. How many layers of secret <laughs> people are there? A lot, and so Triss tells this council, hey, the whole premise of these movies is kind of silly if you think about it. <laughs> well, not a bad point. And she finds out that this council's not actually in charge of Chicago. David was. Oh, so she's mad at him now? Okay. She is, and now she wants to go back to Chicago, because she finds out that those Allegiant people are mounting an attack. They're the ones this movie's named after. <laughs> so she steals but David's hover car in. and he's like, well, you can't leave. You don't know how to fly that thing. Well, it's going to be impossible for her to escape if that's the case. Actually, it's going it? to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, she turns on autopilot and so that does the trick. <laughs> uh, did David forget that was a thing? I guess. So Tris loads up her friends and they head to Chicago. How do they even know what's happening in Chicago? Oh, well, her brother Caleb was given a job where he can see anything, anywhere, whenever okay. he wants. Sure, okay. 
say that technology may as well exist. It does, but freaking Peter's may back well. in Chicago and like, he's okay. going to do some betrayal stuff. Very on brand. So what's his betrayal oh stuff this God. time? Well, David recruited him to bring some powerful gas to Evelyn. Oh, a fart attack. No, this gas completely <laughs> wipes your memory, so what? Evelyn wants to use that on everybody. Oh, having a bunch of memory wiped people help her? Because I said so. So this stuff gets loaded <laughs> into the vents and everyone what? in the city starts breathing it what? in. There's a ventilation system that connects the entire city. That's what we're going with. It goes into every single room in the streets okay. everywhere. Well, okay then. So eventually Tris is trying to shut this thing off, I, but I David's even, trying to... I've, I've got nothing on this one. I, I, this is one I haven't seen. So I, this is all new to me and it still sounds ridiculous and dumb. And just out of nowhere, so I'm 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 right along with you guys on this adventure. So <laughs> let's let's keep it going. The stopper, very exciting. <sighs> yeah, he's talking through a screen because he controls everything, and she's just running through a maze of hallways. Uh, being a maze runner is tight. Probably should have phrased it that <laughs> way. Anyway, then she shoots a thing that turns <laughs> off the gas and also uh, vacuums it up. I get I don't care. Hooray, <laughs> Hooray for now, because we stuff the gas and also uh, vacuums it up. I get I don't care. Hooray, Hooray for now, because we see David is still watching. <laughs> Watching them. Oh, there's gonna be another one. Please. You know it, sir. This is actually oh part my one God. of two. Wow. Well, it was. we'll see. What? Well, if this one doesn't perform well, maybe we'll do part it two was. as like a TV movie or that something. That was the plan. It feels like a massive downgrade, don't you think? You think Very the much actors so. are gonna be up for that? Of course they would be. What are we just gonna leave this series unfinished? <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't interested, but I mean, come on, like, was anybody interested? Maybe book readers. Maybe you guys that are book readers were interested, but like, I don't think she saw the, like, that this was really an important franchise for the studio anyway, because again, I, I've yet to watch this movie. I haven't watched all of Insurgent. I've saw, I've seen most of it. And I've seen the end of that one, but I had no want to watch this one. My wife watched it. And again, I knew it, they, were, they were trying to do a part two, like a part one, part two. I didn't believe in it. They didn't make really that much money or like or good money good enough money to keep making these so i'm sure they lost lost a good amount on these but yeah that that's that's this i i enjoyed this one though with you guys that i don't care was perfect the the people were messing with their jeans joke or you know turn them into shorts i i don't know i did anybody else please well that i wasn't the only one right somebody else was dying laughing at that right because that was hilarious uh the <laughs> Get off my back about it was very aggressive in this one, but you know, it, it works. Thoughts on this one from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. What'd you think of this one? Uh, there's no honest trailer for this. So sorry, no verses, unfortunately, uh, no honest trailer. Probably will never be, who knows? But uh, <laughs> it, this movie, it already seems because it's a very good pitch meeting, it could be a very good honest trailer. So I'm surprised they haven't done one. Maybe they will one day, uh, but this was good. Let me know your thoughts on the film if you watched it in the comments below give me some insight on some things if maybe he left some things out because this happened it does happen every now and then uh, not much but let me know and then let me know your thoughts on the pitch meeting overall great pitch meeting fantastic very funny a lot of moments in this one that got me so let me know what was the funniest moments for you thanks for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed this reaction subscribe to screen rant well not really screen rant yeah screen rant sure but mainly pitch meetings and ryan george subscribe to his channels and like that video and subscribe here if you want to see more reactions and more Fun stuff here. Laugh with me. Enjoy these with me. Uh, <laughs> I have fun doing these and, uh, and watching them with you. So again, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.